be showing you a four step process to make a piece of furniture or home decor item kind of have that aged layer look. Um, so what I have here is I have an old chair. I found this chair, you can kind of see the two pieces. found this chair at a garage sale uh, for under $10. And you can kind of get the visual on, on how the chair was. So what I had to do to this chair, um, I separated, took out the seat, um, and cut, made a cut into the seat. It was an open hollow um, seat that had either caning or some type of leather on it. So I was able to make a straight cut on this piece and um, took off all the supports on the sides. So this is what I'm left with the bottom piece. So this is gonna make a great shelf, put set stuff on top and use it as a towel rack. So that's the bottom half. And then I'll get a second towel holder out of it. And what I did uh, to this was obviously, um, I shortened the legs. So I made a nice cut on, on the legs. And you can kind of see here, these two spots uh, that's where the support bar, so I just, those broke off, stayed in there, so I just sanded them down, which made a great filler, which I didn't have to do. Um, I was missing one spindle on this upright here, so what I did was I busted out the second spindle so I could have just the uniform um, spindles on there. Instead of trying to um, do something different, I just busted out an extra spindle, used some wood filler, on the, on the bottom there, and uh, right now I have some wood filler drying on this piece. Uh, there was a section here, uh, so I filled in there, and then you can kind of see on the top, I filled in some wood filler there. So I'm not gonna work on this piece since it's still drying with the wood filler, but I just kind of wanted to show you, um, I'll have now have two towel racks out of an old used chair. So this is a creative way to uh, when you're at garage sales or thrift stores and you find some really beat up old chairs, this is a creative way to kind of uh, bust them apart and use them in, in different matter. So what we're doing today is I'm going to show you how to do a four-step process and I'm going to use some of my favorite paints from um, supplies from Amy Howard. So um, we're going to do an, a layered aged look on this piece. So step one would be using um, a one-step paint. Uh, you could use milk paint for this as well. You don't have to start with a one-step paint, but that's what I'm gonna start with today. So step one is using um, a base paint, and I'm using the Slesnick Gray um, in the Amy Howard one-step paint. Step two would be, after that's dry, step two would be allowing, uh, mixing the Toscana milk paint to a one-to-one -one ratio. And this is the Strasbourg White. So this will be step two, applying on top of the base paint. Step three would be antiquing glaze. And I'll show you exactly how to use this to kind of distress and get the right type of aging and antiquing between the two layers. And then step four would be the finishing touch of applying waxes to kind of lay into the grooves and kind of give your piece um, an extra layer. could also do um, add two more steps to this process if you chose to. After you um, have the one step, your base paint done, you can apply a layer of gesso, which Amy Howard also has gesso, which what that is, is it's a, it's a powdered mix that you mix together and it kind of gives you um, a grittiness and just kind of added texture to that. Uh, the other step that you could do would be after the antiquing you can, um, and the, during the waxing process, you can apply the aging dust as well. Uh, so you can have, you know, either four simple basic or you can step it up to kind of get six to get extra layers. But right now today I'm just going to show you the four step process. So let's get started with step one.
Okay, we have completed step one on our chair towel bar. So I applied a generous amount of the Amy Howard One Step Paint. Um, I'm only using one coat because I want to distress this piece. I want it get to show parts of the bare wood as well. So I applied one generous coat of the Amy Howard One Step Paint. And now I went ahead and I mixed the Toscana Milk Paint. And again, I'm using the Strasburg White. One part paint to one part water. So it's really important that you have the right um, ratio on your paint. So it's already mixed up. And what I'm just gonna do is go ahead and apply a layer of the Toscana Milk Paint on top of the base paint. to start to use the antiquing wax and I'm using the uh, Amy Howard antiquing wax.
four-step aged paint process using Amy Bauer paints. Step one was base layer with one-step paint. Step two was a top layer with Toscana note paint. Step three was using the antiquing glaze and distressing. And step four was adding additional aging using the antique UX. Hope you enjoyed this video, and you can see other videos just like this at designdecor.com on YouTube, or hop over to my website, designdecor.com, and you can see a, a bunch of tutorials on uh, painting and other home decor DIY. Thank you.